back to the Nash Potatoes Outdoor Show. Today I'm near Grand Rapids, Michigan, getting ready to record part two of my cargo trailer to camper conversion. This is Camping Vlog 42. Don't go anywhere. So today, my agenda for the camper conversion, we are going to install some storage solutions that I picked up from Ikea. Uh, but first I wanted to remind you of a few of the goals uh, for this camper conversion. Um, we are using wooden pallets for the build out, which is a pretty cool concept that's working out fairly well so far. Number two, it needs to be lightweight because I'm hauling it with my Subaru Impreza. Don't have a ton of horsepower in that thing. Uh, number three, I want a simple design with very few moving pieces so that nothing breaks or wears out. And we are not uh, insulating this camper because I plan to only really camp in the summertime. So um, in addition to the storage solutions, um, there's a few things that we also wanted to button up from the first video. Um, I wanted to install an inside door handle, uh, finish installing the legs for the desk and the countertop, and then some latches for the bed and the desk. Uh, when they are in the up position. Um, and then Donna is working on my foam uh, custom bed mattress that might be ready later today as well. So um, we got a nice day here in Michigan. So let's get this thing started. So this is my kitchen counter that actually folds down when I need it to. These legs can go in and out. What we're basically installing here are just the stops that keep the legs in place. So we just need to pop a couple of screws in and then you'll see a little bit better on this view exactly what I'm talking about. So my dad is holding up the leg there and Dick is making sure that we've got it nice and square so that we can figure out exactly where to put that stop at. And just a second you'll see what I'm talking about here. Yeah, so just a little wooden block there to keep the leg in place. Those legs can come in and out. And as you can see, there's hinges along the wall so this kitchen counter can fold down. And it's super ideal because, um, because this kitchen counter needs to fold down during the evening to make room for my bed. So just a couple of screws and that's just a quick uh, button up from the previous week. So we lifted that board because of the hinges. All right. Now what we're doing is we're installing the top to my bed. Um, this are these are just a couple of pieces of masonite that I had laying in the trailer from uh, actually from floor and decor when we picked up a bunch of materials they kind of gave this stuff to us to prevent the floor from being damaged the piece was 49 inches and I only needed 48 inches so we just saw it off one inch and we'll use that one inch to fill the, the gap in the middle as you can see here in just a second so it doesn't look that pretty but basically I just need something flat for my mattress to go on So we just nipped off that little end there to complete the center section. And then we be began to drill in a few screws. You can see the hinges there on the right hand side. That bed will fold up against my wall during the day and then allow for me allow me to use my uh, desk during the day to produce videos. So I'm pretty happy with how that looks. As you can see, that bed sits almost perfectly in the center of my camper. Allows me plenty of room to get a good night's sleep. And then what we needed was some type of latching system to hold the bed when it's in the up position. So we decided to drill some holes up top so that we can use bungee cords. And Dick is trying really hard to not pop a hole in my roof. And there it goes. <laughs> we got that fixed up. I uh, made the holes just a little bit bigger, and uh, the bungee cord was actually a really good solution. There we go. As you know, I want this build out to be as simple as possible with few moving pieces. We toyed around with the idea of using this blue bungee cord, um, and then we toyed around with the idea of the orange bungee cord, 
we'll get it figured out, but it holds it in the upright position, so that was a perfect solution. All right, now we're doing a similar thing to my folding desk. We need these legs to stay in place, and we just need a couple of pieces of thin wood to screw to the bottom of that desk. Unfortunately, we didn't have any, <clears throat> we didn't have any in the garage, so we took the little ATV down to the lower garage, look for some scrap wood, and sure enough, we came up with a perfect solution. Nice thin piece of wood, we just needed two of them. The reason we needed thinner wood is because uh, at night when that bowl, when that bed folds down, we needed to make sure that there wasn't too much height there. So, make sure everything's square, mark it off, pop a couple of screws in it, and another simple solution. This desk is going to be ideal because I want to be able to produce my videos on the fly. Otherwise, if I produce or if I record 10 videos, yeah, it becomes like work to produce 10 videos in a row. So if I can produce them as I do them, it really makes uh, my YouTube channel a lot more fun for me. So I've got the first one in there and then pop the second one in there. And voila, perfect. And then what we needed was a solution to keep the bed or the desk in the up position. So I had these extra hooks laying around. So we screwed a hook to the inside of the bed on each side and once again used another bungee cord and that ended up being a perfect solution as well as you can see right here. Doesn't take a whole lot to keep that up. And there we go. All right, now we're gonna install some of these really cool things that I got from Ikea. So I picked up uh, some pegboards to go above the kitchen counter, three of them all together. And they install really quickly, just uh, this bar goes across horizontally and it basically screws into that. You'll see here in a second. Just screws right on and uh, all these gadgets can go into those holes as you'll see here in a second cups and hooks and it's going to really save me a ton of space the more stuff i can get up off the floor and onto the walls um, the more organized i'll be so three was about perfect it kind of goes across the whole kitchen counter area there so we got the second one up and then the third one this stuff from ikea is really cool i Went to Ikea thinking I'd find a couple of cool things, and we came home with maybe 10 or 12 different storage solutions, as you'll see in this video. So, now we're hanging up a black hanger. Uh, I'll be able to put my hoodies and hooded sweatshirts and coats on. My dad's just popping a couple holes into the wall right there. And then it just snaps right in. As I said, if I can get stuff up off the floor, then my camper will be a lot more organized. So I'm pretty happy with that purchase as well. Next up, we have these really cool fabric compartments that hang from the ceiling. Um, we needed to find a way to hang them up. So um, we're kind of just fitting them into place to see ideas on how to hang them. So there's the turquoise one and then the white one. I'll be able to put some clothing and lightweight stuff in there. What we decided to do is to take some conduit and just kind of use it as a hanger and then we will actually screw that into the roof of the camper. So Dick had some conduit laying around and he just sawed off a few pieces and uh, hit it to the grinder really quick. Knock off the sharp edges and we will actually be installing that uh, next week. So that'll be cool. All right, now I've got a couple more really cool things that I found. This one is a, a rail that comes with four hooks and two containers. Actually got two of those that'll go above kind of the, the toilet area there. These install pretty quickly as well. Just a couple of screws into the wall. 
and then the rail goes across and they're kind of locked in with a set screw from the bottom. My dad had fun with that set screw. You've got to turn it about a hundred times. <laughs> yeah, as you can see, it's not going in very quickly. So that took a little while, but um, those actually secured really nicely. You'll see in a minute how those um, connect and uh, the little hooks and containers that go on there as well. <laughs> My dad's still turning the set screw. But these things from Ikea, I can't tell you enough how cool they are. Um, so there we've got some hooks and containers. And there's actually a couple of little shelves that go on there as well. Now, we decided we had a little bit of extra space above the refrigerator. So I thought, why not install a little shelf up there where I can put some dry goods and uh, maybe some beers. So if you remember from the previous video, I had a little bit of wood left over from that um, solid uh, deck pallet. And I think we got 36 inches wide by 12 inches deep. And it ended up being perfectly because I've got these um, gray shoe boxes that fit up there. And four of them, they're about nine inches each. They fit up there just perfectly. So this was a pretty simple install as well. I had picked up some uh, corner braces from Menards. You'll see here in a second. And we just used some self-tapping screws, screwed right into the steel studs of the camper. They take a little horsepower to get in there, but then they tighten right up. And then the second brace. And voila, I'm pretty happy with that. The refrigerator will go right underneath and that'll give me some more storage space. All right, now what I have is a little curtain wire that I didn't know was a curtain wire. <laughs> I thought it was a storage solution for like the office because all these little hooks hang off of it. So I thought, well, that'll be cool. I can hang some photos and some paperwork and whatnot. I had no idea until I looked online that it was actually uh, made for a shower curtain <laughs> so this goes in pretty cool as well just um, screw each end on and then that you just cut that wire to size and a couple more set screws and a little bit later on in the video you'll see all the hooks that go on there that's going to be right above my desk area there so that'll be really sweet so we got the pegboard we got the black hanger a little black shelf unit as well um, the rails with hooks, the shower curtain, you can see those hooks hanging off of there. And then I've got these gray shoe boxes that go on the shelf above the refrigerator. Those fit perfectly. And that's about it for today. So we're wrapping up day number two of the video. In the corner here is where the fridge will go. And then we did some shelving units up here. And we did some pegboard along here and right now my mom and dad are holding up these because they're not fully installed yet but this one will go right here and there's Dick and then the second one will go right here kind of a shelving unit for clothing and lightweight stuff and then we did some uh, shelves along here shelves along here this will be right above my desk space so I've got these clips to hold photos and paperwork and then uh, we've got the kitchen countertop that folds up right here. You don't need to put the legs in, but just, yeah, so that folds up and that folds up. And you're level this time? <laughs> yeah, we did adjust it so it's level. And then uh, in the evening, um, those will go down. And then, uh, do you mind showing how the desk comes down real quick? Yeah. yeah. That just folds down. We've got some stabilizer bars for that. That's where my computer will go. And then that will fold up and the bed will come down. Donna is fabricating my mattress as we speak. She was able to find a place to cut some foam and we got four inches plus an egg crate on top of that. 
And then we created some right, bungee cord system for the bed. And that just folds down. Okay. And kind of it's hinged on the floor. Got it. And we screwed the top in. What is that called, Dick, that sits on the top of that? Masonry. M Mason right? And that's about it for today. Yeah. Perfect. Thank yeah. you, guys. So we're just wrapping up uh, video number two of my camper conversion. Everything came together perfectly, as usual, as per the use. The, uh, all that stuff from Ikea is so cool. I think um, including a big sink bowl and French press and tea kettle, we only spent like $200 on all that stuff. And uh, I'll do a conclusion video that'll show all the expenses so you'll be able to see exactly what I spent on this build out. But uh, next week is going to be awesome. We're actually going to install the back porch, which will probably be the coolest part of this whole build out because it'll allow for a lot of light to come in and will also add quite a bit of square footage. So um, everything is looking pretty good. Uh, it's not as extravagant as some of these campers that I've seen people have been putting together, but it's this is exactly what I was envisioning. Just cool enough, just rough enough. It's got all the little bits and pieces that I need for my camping trip. So, uh, thanks for watching the Nash Potatoes Outdoor Show. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. We will see you next week. Have a good one.